Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Uh, it's the uh, 28th of April 2023, and the uh, reason I'm doing this video blog uh, is to share my experience. Of uh, we have uh, another six days until. I donate my kidney to my son so basically what this means is before the donation period which is on the 4th of May um, both me and my son have to self-isolate and uh, the reason we have to do that is if we get COVID the transplant day is going to get moved by another six weeks so we have to self-isolate at home um, and uh, hopefully inshallah if everything goes okay we're going to have the transplant on the fourth um, so it's a it's been uh, tough we started yesterday um, really feeling restricted so i'm in my garden got my bamboo tree and everything uh, hopefully you're enjoying it um, this also the isolation means that no friends or family members can visit us um, they can call of course um, so we are it's a, a lot of COVID memories uh, no visits and um, so we're having to make do with what we have keep ourselves busy um, it's been there's a it's a mixture of emotion there's a lot that's been happening um, so uh, a few days ago we had our final test whole day from the morning to late afternoon one appointment after another blood test you know so much blood we had to give um, x-rays CT uh, CT scan so alhamdulillah you know uh, I feel there are some things I need to share uh, maybe there are others who are going through similar experiences um, maybe you will benefit from this video and uh, yeah so you know when your child when your son or daughter falls ill what do you do in this uh, you pray but you have to do some actions um, immediately when we found out last year that Ibrahim had a rare kidney condition and his kidney functions were really low so if your kidney functions are low you don't have the energy to um, do your day-to-day -day functions and that's exactly what happened to my son and of course as a father as a mother we want to help him and uh, as a father I didn't hesitate this is something that um, there's two types of kidney. One is um, a deceased person's kidney and then you have a living donor. So in this case myself. If he waited for a kidney it would have been somebody else who would have donated and somebody else who may have died. Uh, that donate, uh, do donation would have come. But the, the life shelf of those kind of uh, kidneys are not as good as the living donor and uh, when the doctors and the experts have uh, confirmed that I can function with one kidney um, I immediately said this is something I need to do I need to help my son and uh, I got selected so um, what that meant was every year around me I go and inspect orphans home visit orphans 
we now are sponsoring over um, 220 orphans that means taking care of them providing food providing clothing any emergency support so I, I, I couldn't go um, and so this is the timeline um, we're gonna uh, on the 4th um, we're gonna go 7 o'clock in the morning to the hospital and um, I will be prepped for for them to take my it's a keyhole surgery so they're going to uh, take out uh, my kidney and basically after three four hours they'll put that kidney into my son and uh, hopefully we don't get a rejection I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that uh, the uh, kidney is accepted and at that stage even the visits in the hospital uh, is going to be very limited not everyone can go um, because of infection and um, so we're, we're going to stay in hospital I will be in one ward Ibrahim is going to be in another ward um, when it's safe to do so I will go and visit him and at that point Ibrahim is more at risk um, because of infection and uh, yeah so I, I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that you know you're all making dua and he doesn't get infection because if that happens it creates more complications so a lot of it is tawakkul uh, Allah you have to trust in Allah and you have to do your best so my apologies a lot of people wanted to see me visit me they couldn't uh, do that because of these restrictions so when we finish when we come back home that should be after between four to six days Ibrahim will have to um, um, visit the hospital two times a week so again organizing that transportation um, on a regular basis I can't drive for a month uh, I can't leave um, the country uh, <laughs> uh, after even two and a half months uh, it's that whole process of recovery um, I can't get out of the house after a month within that time after the operation period uh, Ibrahim the same so a lot of pressure on our family members some of the family members will help with transportation food um, and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward them because it's a very testing time uh, for us our family um, I pray Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give me and my son Shifa um, this brings to mind you know I don't know if you know about the hadith uh, of, of Prophet uh, peace be upon him he talked about five before five the hadith five before five check it out it's really really good and one of them is uh, when you have good health use that good health to Worship Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. Worship uh, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. Uh, do ibadah. Help the poor. Help the oppressed. Help the needy. Use your time wisely, so that when you become unhealthy, uh, you can't do as much as you could have done if you had good health. It's similar to if you, uh, when you're young, using your time uh, to do good. To worship Allah Subhanahu wa Taala before you get old and busy, um, and uh, or uh, when you get older, you're not going to have that level of energy. That's one uh, of the five. The uh, other one is when you are rich, don't be stingy. Use your money, give sadaka, give help the poor, the needy. Uh, because there will come come a time when you are not going to earn and you're not going to have that much money right so 
um, it's a homework for you. Uh, please uh, read up on five before five. So effectively, it's six days left for us. Um, so I'm going to do a daily blog if I can and um, share the experiences. Um, as Muslims, we are the biggest takers of uh, kidney and other organ don't as, as people who are sick we we, we the, our we take more and then give little even on, on blood uh, you know we give less and we take more and we should get into this idea of um, um, donating um, so others who are in need uh, can benefit I mean, I'm right in the, in the middle of it, and I can see what c it can do. It's very hard as a father to watch, you know, my 22-year-old uh, struggle. And and you know, some people, some families don't want to give a organ that they can. I mean, I can function, and inshallah, uh, with your prayers and du'as. Uh, you'll see that I'll function um, and I, uh, I'll continue to be uh, proactive. I'll try my best to help those in need. What I need now is for you guys to make dua uh, for me and my family. Yeah, and uh, I've just prepared my garden. Just uh, So in the month that I'm isolated, I'm going to do a bit of gardening, so I'm going to just show you. So I'm preparing, this year I'm not going to do khudu, but I'm just going to have a small uh, vegetable. And uh, I've got my crab apple, I'll show you the crab apple trees. So I've got that, this is an uh, apple, so this is uh, my crab apple I love. And there's a new range, yeah, so yeah, hopefully that will keep me busy. Um, and uh, yeah. Uh, if you know anybody who's suffering um, uh, from kidney uh, transplant uh, or other issues and you want to reach out, maybe uh, after the transplant I can share some notes and advice. Yeah, so Jazakallah for watching. Thank you very much. Uh, have a great day. Assalamu alaikum.